Coming back in seven, six, five, four, three. Tons of energy coming back at a commercial break. Hello, folks. Welcome back. For I am the one and the only I am Hobo Tom. This video is a little bit late, but it's actually it's actually not as bad as it normally is, which is good because I have a lot of videos to make this week. I still have my prediction videos to make. I'm kind of waiting till the end of tonight because that seems like a really short bond for glory. Crown Jewel is going to take forever. Enough about that. I have a whole bunch of thank yous to give out too. See here, trick. You, sir, are a very tricky person. You win twice. Did you get a six count? Leon Blade, you're just there, chilling out with your briefcase boombox. Florida Manny, you sir know how to play the air guitar.
Yump. Yump. You can crawl out of here. Dave Tron, you sir, win by dirty pen. Oh, Naomi's tits, they're definitely a part of the El Generico band. Sneed. Sneed. Holy shit. Holy shit. The Reverend Wells! You, sir, definitely know that Jordan has back. Oh my god, Becky, look at her back. I like big butts and I cannot lie. Okay, maybe I'll do that then. I'll show you, maybe tonight. I'll show you guys and. Ah, uh, no. That's a bad idea. Wise ass Will Pistol. You, sir, the luchador on a forklift. Ascendant Ancient 2. You, sir, believe the madness of Mundo. Or Mundo Madness.
Big Mark, you know that Natalia is superior. Colt Cat Bunny, you're Nikki, you're Nikki Glenn Cross's tag team partner. You're going to be tagged in. And then Simone, you just have that. O O M F G moment. Those are my thank yous again. If you too would like to get your thank you, um, please find me at the Discord, chat with me, or subscribe. Um, let's see here. Let's talk about some Monday Night Raw. Not a bad show. This is like weird because this is, I guess, the go home show to Crown Jewel, which I will be covering live. Um, I kind of have my day planned out for that. It's going to be wrestling. I think this is going to be like a five hour show. This might be a long. Yeah, it has to be five hours. Jeez, I don't see it being any longer than that. That's rough, even for a live crowd. 12 to 5. Go to the gym, come back. A little Impact Wrestling for beer. Ooh, it's a beer night. Ooh. I'll have to remember that when I make the card. I have a lot to do tonight and tomorrow. Then, um, well, today is kind of a weird day. I guess it's a triple video day. Hey, G-Spot. Cat decided that I opened up the house because it's so glor, so glorious. Outside, I wanted to open up the house, get some fresh air in, hear that shh. So I finally opened the doors after the summer months. Bound for Glory is not that big of a card. Two, four, they only have six matches on for Bound for Glory. That's going to be weird. I don't know if they realize people get wrestled out after eight hours. And it is from ten... In the East Coast, 10 to probably 1, I guess. Ooh, that's going to be rough. Wait a second. That's weird. Yeah, 10 to 1, roughly. So, yeah. Um, I'll be making that video. That, that definitely will be going up sometime Wednesday, though. I don't know which guest I'm going to have to do that. Who knows? We haven't seen the, the Techno Blue Ranger in a while. Maybe... Dr. Tom, who knows? El Vagabundo might show up. I have stuff to figure out. Enough about that stuff. Let's talk about Monday Night Raw. In a while. <laughs> kind of under, kind of underwhelming as a go-home show. I could definitely have seen better. I've definitely seen worse. It's that weird in-between. Again, WWE, give me that A or give me that F. Give me everything or give me absolutely nothing. And this kind of did the middle of the road stuff. Starts off with Charlotte Flair and Bianca Belair in the Bell of the Onesies. Uh, Charlotte Flair, you can see her black undergarments. It's kind of like near sheer tiger stripe. Bianca Belair wore a flower thing, maybe teasing, and this would not surprise me. If this was their ring gear, that and a t shirt to make them look baggy and very unfeminine for Saudi Arabia. So they wear onesies with a big t-shirt. God, that's going to be terrible. There'll be no wardrobe malfunction possibilities. What's a woman's match without wardrobe malfunctions? Or the possibility of one? I don't know. We'll see. Um, so yeah, it was the pal of the onesies there. Then we have Woods and Kofi Kingston hyping things up for their first match in the semifinals for King of the Ring. Again, I'll have my King and Queen of the Ring 
Uh, guess is coming up. So we have Xavier Woods versus Jinder Mahal, the Maharaja. Woods is definitely faster. Jinder stronger. Jinder again. That nice, good. Oh, there she is. The hobo cat. Nice wrenching headlock. Always good to see. Um, do a little bit more wrestling between the two of them. A little back and forth. Uh, Jinder Mahal eventually gets the Cobra Clutch on. Then switches that to the Colossus. But no. Way too close to the ropes. I'm like, darn it. I know who's not winning now. Um, so Jinder obviously missed this opportunity. He missed something. Xavier Woods hit the big elbow. Xavier Woods goes on to the King of the Ring finals. Xavier Woods made that one fatal mistake, though. He sat on the crown. He sat on the throne. He let Kofi put the cape around him. I don't know what she did. She might be a lizard in there. Who knows? Florida's full of lizards. But yeah, big mistake, Xavier Woods. Guess who's not winning King of the Ring? Um, overall, though, solid cheeseburger match. With Austin Theory, that was pretty good backstage. The loser locker room, he's like, what the hell? Then Austin Theory, um, supposed to go against R Truth, but R Truth switched that. Jeff Hardy comes out to take R Truth's place again. I don't know. All these nothing rematches, they are getting long, boring, and drawn out. Um, Jeff Hardy starts to roll up. And this time he did it with a tight. He wants to mirror how he lost. Um, they go to the floor. Austin Theory, that neck breaker, that draping neck breaker from the apron to the floor on Jeff Hardy. That looked vicious. That actually looked really good, though. Some stomps onto Hardy when he gets back in the ring. Uh, Jeff Hardy hits a baseball slide drop kick. That's fun. There was no swanton bond. Again, Austin Theory's a little quicker for that. Oh, what's that? Personal data? No, I don't care less. I have no personal data to show. Everyone seems to get hacked but me. There are advantages to not being online that often. Um, where was I? Oh yeah, it was a clean win this time. By Austin Theory, he hit his kind of F5 neck breaker. Looks really good, I'll say that much. Um, gets his selfie. Jeff Hardy then kind of like comes to... After Austin Theory poses a little bit too much, you know, the twist of fate gets a selfie with Austin Theory. Eh, too little, too late. Not bad. I do like the, f hopefully this is the end. This is, because I think this is the end, this is going to be that cheeseburger match. Then back there is Boo. Boo Sonya Deville. Forever Boo Sonya Deville. Ooh. And Adam Pierce. Because it's going to be Biggie versus Drew McIntyre versus the Dirty Dogs of Dolph Ziggler and Robert Roode. They need to hold the titles again. Robert Roode looks so good with the titles now that he has probably a legitimate tag team partner. And they come out for the most part in matching gear. I don't know what she's doing over there. Who knows? Um. Good match this time. Big E and Drew McIntyre more on the same page. Big shoulder tackle by Big E. Tough selling is still near, near, still near comical levels. Um, that's always funny to watch. Drew oh, has that beautiful deadlift suplex. So good. Big E again, gets taken out. He missed the splash on the ring apron. He's out for a while. Drew, again, Dolph Ziggler and Robert Roode, the classic heel corner work. When Dolph Ziggler is distracting the referee, uh, Bobby Roode's in the back choking, choking the life out of Big E. That was pretty good. Again, classic, classic stuff you'd expect to see from like the Minnesota Wrecking Crew. Um, again, the Big E, Big E gets his eyes raked, the big eye rake. Drew gets a hot tag, um, then tags in Big E for his big ending, kind of to make up for last week. Solid cheeseburger match. Drew McIntyre and Biggie do get the victory. Um, then they tease a little bit what's going to happen on Thursday. 
So it's good. You know, not a lot, not a lot of notes for a change. It's weird. Then there's the Street Profits. Do a little thing. I'm backstage, and then AJ and Omos. Omos is huge. AJ looks so tiny. Then we have um, Mansoor versus Cedric Alexander. Classic wrestling start. Mansoor is fast. Cedric, again, he had the pump handle suplex. Whenever you're going to throw in some new wrestling moves, make things a little bit more innovative, make them unique. Again, no one saw that before. I don't even think the announcers knew that was going to happen. Um, Mansoor did hit the scorpion death drop, and then a little neck breaker. That's enough to pin Cedric Alexander, though. I'm kind of okay with that. Cedric Alexander's, again, in the hurt business. He's used to having a team behind him. So that's okay. Good, solid match. Good way to segue into the next segment. Cheeseburger match. So then Ali shows up, says, you're still smiling. Mansoor beats up Ali a little bit. Again, a little bit of a tease to Crown Jewel. This will probably be like the opening match. Get that crowd hyped up for the hometown hero. Then we had RK Bro taking on the Street Profits. Uh, Riddle, again, classic wrestling. I like that. The takedown to the Gigi Gatami. Whenever you're going to do that, that's always going to impress me. I do like to see kind of that more technical base wrestling. Uh, more Matt Bass, a little bit of jujitsu thrown there. That's always good to see. Ford, the duck under with a headlock. That's nice. Reverses that. Good rope running and drop kick by both. Matt Riddle and Montez Ford are so athletic. They can do so much in the ring. It's a nice change. It's a nice change of pace for Randy Orton's more grinding, rest hold mania. Style matches. So yeah, it's always good to see. Um, Orton eventually pulls out Dawkins. And sends Ford out. Then there's a series of dives. Um, Riddle did the airplane gut wrench suplex. I guess that's what you call it. They call it the spinning gut wrench. I think it's more like an airplane spin gut wrench suplex. I'll do bad with that. Dawkins eventually gets the hot tag. Randy, however, gets ready. He's poised to strike for the RKO out of nowhere. And then AJ Omos comes down. That gets Randy's attention. And behind him, AJ Styles comes in with a flying forearm. This, again, is going to set up a little bit for um, Crown Jewel. The DQ, the death, the finish. Nobody wins. Because AJ and Omos also beat up the Street Profits, too. So the referee can be like, well, you can't beat up both teams. So, yeah. I guess no one wins. Nobody wins. So that's the cheeseburger, baby. Yeah, I'll probably get this video set up. Then I'll be done processing when I hobo. Come back from hoboing. Do the predictions video. Wow, a plan. Let's see if I can stick to it now. Um, then we had Shayna Baszler versus Dewdrop. Uh, Shayna goes after Dewdrop's leg. Some good stiff leg kicks. That's good. Dewdrop, again, hits the belly to back suplex. And then a cannonball in the corner. And then Shayna puts in the rear naked choke. But eventually, Dewdrop just sits on her. And then gets pinned. Not a strong showing. Um, makes me kind of nervous about what's going to happen at Crown Jewel. If both women's matches are only going to be like at most five minutes. I don't know. You know, when I think Alexa Bliss and Naomi, and Naomi had their match, they were like in a full bodysuit with t-shirt on. Not really good look, especially for Naomi. So that's not good. Um, this match itself, Dewdrop win. She's onto the Queen of the Ring. You know what? It's a can of suit match.
Next match I could care less about. It was Finn Balor versus Mace. Um, Finn Balor, for the most part, out wrestles Mace. Mace, again, even though he's stronger, not doesn't have the wrestling acumen like Prince Devitt, the real rock and roller, has. So with that, again, King Devitt, King Devitt, sounds actually pretty good. Uh, eventually. Mace gets set up in the for the coup de gras. Yeah, that's about it. Finn Balor wins ham sandwich match. What did you say? You're being fussy. And you know, for some reason, this for all went by fairly quickly. They did have a lot of wrestling on it. Very short segments. Um, then we had the Johnny Mundo meditation moment. Um, um, Mundo. I wish I was back in Lucha Underground. But yeah. Um, so that was okay. Then we had Charlotte versus Bianca for the main event. Actually pretty good. Charlotte just looks so checked out. She looks so disinterested. She looks like she could care zero about this match. I said it looked like she oiled up her tits. Someone said, that's not oil. I'm like, hmm, could that be, oh my, my. Yes. People have done that on the belts before. Maybe Charlotte likes having that done on her. Who knows? Um, it was Charlotte versus Bianca Belair. Kind of classic start. They marry each other. Um, on the outside, Bianca goes over the table. Charlotte hits a big belly to back when they get into the ring. And Bianca hits a stomps on Charlotte Flair. Um, Charlotte eventually goes outside and then she goes over, over the table. Charlotte hit the Andrade. She learned some move from Andrade Cien Almas instead of her father. Hit the double moonsault. Something just seems off with Charlotte. I know she cut herself on the chin. It's probably either the nails or something in the hair. But yeah, it, it was like the legit cut. You're like, huh? I don't think that was... Uh, a punch, I don't think, would leave that nice straight cut. Especially where it was, because it wasn't on the lips. But it's like right kind of here-ish. So that's like a big scratch. It healed up pretty quickly. It didn't look bad. Um, Charlotte just seems off. And then the longer this match got, very, which is becoming very typical now of any Charlotte Flair match, the longer the match goes, the botchier it gets. Which is not good. Um, let's see here. And Charlotte decides to get the chair. Whaps Bianca over the head in the midsection with it. Yeah, that's a DQ. The ref's like, why? All the people are saying, okay, it's, it's 11 o'clock. We're going over. Wrap it up, ladies. Charlotte's like, well, I'm going to lose. I'll lose the way I want to lose. Again, one of those ways I think Charlotte Flair, because the ref is like, huh? I know the ref's supposed to say, huh, but the ref and even Bianca look kind of out of it. I don't know. Charlotte might be going to business for herself. You can never tell. Um, Bianca won. Not bad. Not a bad match. Not a great match, but a solid minus the weird ending and some junk in between. I think I'm just becoming accepted with the fact that Charlotte Flair is just checked out. That's a cheeseburger match. That's it. That's, it. That's Monday Night Raw. Oh, that one's quicker than I thought it was. So let's see here. I'm a little breakdown about what's going to happen. Well, tonight, I'm off to the gym. I'm going to use the bathroom. Let the fuzz moth and get her outside time. I do have to put some aluminum out. I make space for today's so Um, Tonight, it's going to be NXT night. 
We'll see what happens at the lead up because this will be the go home show to the Havoc of Halloween. I wonder if I'm working on Tuesday. That'll be weird. Um, eventually I'm going to have my, I'm going to make my predictions video for both Bond for Glory and Crown Jewel. That'll definitely be up by Wednesday. Thursday, uh, Wednesday night, I have to work late. No wrestling that night. I, I, I give myself a night off. Uh, Crown Jewel is going to be Thursday. That's a double show because I'll be doing the Crown Jewel show probably live. Also be live streaming, um, Impact Wrestling later that night because that's the Impact Bomb for Glory, unless they do something screwy. Friday after work, um, so I'll just be covering Dynamite. Saturday will be Bound for Glory, and I'll have Sunday off. That's nice. So again, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll see everyone later. I have, like, stuff to do. Bye.